The shit I've seen with these three eyes help me realize that this isn't even real life. We living in a simulation, and you become a glitch once you awaken. Illusions of the flesh, so situations gotta face them. They say patience is a virtue, think I'm running out of patience. But please don't get me mistaken, I know I cannot risk greatness. A wise man once said that you'll find your true self when your ego is dead. Stay 10 steps ahead of their agenda. A beast like a gorilla, but smooth like a chinchilla. My nigga, don't hate me cause I'm different. Was told to be myself in my dream by a DC's relative and I listen. So the paint that I picture, I mean the picture that I paint is always non-fiction. Okay, so I hope that everyone is having a beautiful and blessed day today. I was going to use my card, but I think that I'm not. I am just going to go off my intuition. Also, I'm just going to just speak about whatever I feel called to speak about. Um, drop some gems and intellectual knowledge on you guys. You feel me? Um, first and foremost, how's everyone doing today? I hope that everyone is having a beautiful and blessed day today. I hope that you are able to find love within yourself, find love within others as well, that you are surrounded around love at this time. And if not, it's okay for us to pray that energy off us, and it's okay for us to pray for more, like, healthier, you know, energies. I've seen before in the time, as I say that as well. So my cat is, like, super nosy at this time. So it's like you can have a lot of people in your business. You can have, like, a lot of people in your business at this time. A lot of people... Um, sticking their input and opinions in on your situation, on your financial situation, on your living situation. Um, I, I'm even picking up relationship situation as well. So for some of you guys, there could be people even projecting um, really just in every area of your life. Like I'm hearing a lot of jealousy as well. Like people are jealous and envious of you at this time as well. And it's like, um, Spirit is just wanting you to be mindful of that. The way that my cat is like distracting me, so like be mindful of people distracting me at this time as well. Um, he's trying to get my attention, so it's like someone could be trying to get your attention at this time, or you're trying to get someone else's attention. He was crying earlier as well, so someone could be crying, or someone's like crying out for someone. And I see one forty four on the timer as I say that as well. I feel that um, a lot of us are stepping more into our creativity at this time. A lot of us are starting to branch off and just kind of discover self discover ourselves like discover more within ourselves as well the color red could be significant red drops i'm hearing like i don't know what that's about but red drop red droplets um so some i heard triplets so something could be coming in a number three like number three i seen two 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 on the timer then 23 as well so it's like you be seeing something like you can be seeing synchronicities in the number of threes. You can be seeing the literal number three, 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 or again something very significant around threes, like like um something's happening in threes. Um, it's funny because I actually just seen a post saying not only does death come in threes, but so does pregnancy. And I did I seen four, four on the time as well. That energy has been prominent within my um readings lately, so I know that there are a lot of like spirit children who are trying to come through. Who are wanting to come through and like basically um make themselves be known so face type vibe so be mindful of that if you're not wanting kids at this time if you're not if you are sexually active but again you're not wanting to have children be mindful of that because there are a lot of spirit babies wanting and more than likely will come through i feel that um there's a need for us to start focusing on ourselves a lot more focusing on our health our wealth as well, focusing on our spirituality and getting ourselves back intact. I feel like as a collective, we kind of been, again, not focused, kind of like losing our focus a little bit when it comes to the things that we know we want out of life, the things that we know we can see out of life, you know, and it's like, um, there's a need for you to just get back on, get back on focus, there's a need for all of us to get back on focus, on track of just a lot of things that we said we were going to accomplish for ourselves this year, if you know that there are some things that you have initially accomplished, it's not too late to tackle some of these things and also don't be so hard on yourself because not all the time do the things that you might like not all the time it's the things you might have wanted to work out for yourself is it meant to work out for you you know so it's just i need to be mindful of that as well knowing when to release and knowing who you need to release as well 
also knowing the difference between when someone is in your energy cycling your energy and when someone is in your energy giving you an equal give and exchange. At this time, we cannot afford to be in connections that are not giving an equal give and exchange. You cannot afford to be in connections that are not somewhat vibrating on a level as you, on the same level as you, because even though you may like um, love these people and want to want them to come with you, they're only going to energetically pull you down if you continue to stay in their energy while they're not choosing to work on themselves in no type of way, you know? And so it's like, there's a need to be mindful and not be naive about that, not be naive about people that you know is not necessarily putting in the work. And so there's a need for you to just d distance yourself from these people. There's a need for you to um, cut off the empathicness within you a little bit because I feel that you have been too understanding, a little bit too understanding of others' situations, of others kind of like projecting on you. Um, I'm hearing dumping on you, like dumping their problems on you or even literally like um, dumping their responsibilities on you as well. And so there's just, I feel like we're being pushed into our isolation journey. We're being pushed into speaking up more for ourselves. We're being pushed into just that version of ourselves that we've been praying and trying so hard to get to, you know what I mean? And so there's a need for you to just be mindful of this as well. And also know that if there's something that you necessarily pray for, understand and be willing to put in the work to receive your prayer and also be willing to know when your prayer is there and presenting this up to you like the like the most trashest thing we can do is pray for something and then turn around and like not show gratitude towards what you pray for that is the quickest way to get a lot of your blessings stripped from you you know so it's like there's a need to be grateful of the small things that you're receiving as well as the big things you know there's a need for you to be more grateful of the small things that you're receiving at this time um someone hasn't been honest and truthful with themselves i'm hearing it's crazy because i like i now feel called to pull Terra, so i'm going to do that you got damage on the back of the deck. Be careful what you take for granted. Literally was just speaking about how like there's a need to not take certain energies for granted, certain blessings for granted. You know, um, if you know that you pray for something and you're receiving that prayer, there's just like be mindful of that, you know, be mindful of how you're necessarily viewing that at this time. I feel called to go on with the. I really don't even know what decks these, these be all. Like my. What is it? My um, card boxes be like getting tore up and stuff. And I be forgetting the name of these decks. I'm not gonna hold you. Okay, so we're just gonna see what we get here. Okay, so my door just shut. That was creepy as fuck. Um, so you could be like shutting the door on someone, closing the door on someone, closing someone out. And um, yeah, or someone feels like you shut the door on them or you are shutting the door on them. You're not trusting your intuition. I think I said that. You're not trusting your intuition about this King of Pentacles. Or this King of Pentacles, you are this King of Pentacles, not trusting your intuition. I'm definitely talking to a masculine here, a masculine Virgo. Uh, I didn't even mean to say Virgo. What the hell? I'm literally talking to a masculine Virgo or an earth sign. Yeah, with all these Pentacles out here. Let's get with the Nine of Pentacles here. I feel that um, you. I'm talking to her earth sign here, right? And if you are not an earth sign, you're just somebody who don't play about your money. Um, there's conflict surrounding your finances at this time. People are fighting over your finances. Or it's like people are fighting you over your finances. This has caused you to like be put in. I feel like you, this might have caused like you to be in like a depression type of energy. You may have lost out on your finances on here. Or it's like, um, yeah, literally, as I say that, like this is about taking a loss, a big loss when it comes to your financial situation. 
um, overcoming something as well is what I'm hearing. With the Five of Cups here, again, like I said, at a loss. Like, you're kind of crying about what you've lost in the past. Or it's like, this could be, like, recent past. This could have just recently happened. But the thing about it is that Spirit is not wanting you to dwell on whatever the situation is. Spirit is not wanting you to dwell on this because there's nothing you can do about it. It's already in the past. It already happened. It's like Spirit is wanting you to move on. You could be in a city. The city is significant here. The King of Swords... So you could be wanting to like come in with the truth about something. Here, I'm not picking that card up that fell on the floor. Yeah, someone's wanting to come in really fast with some type of truth here. What is this about spirit? The eight of swords, someone who kept themselves bonded. So like you could have kept yourself bonded. You could have held back from something or someone. And like so now you wanted to come in and speak your truth. Heavy masculine energy here. So it's like I am picking up heavy masculine energy. I'm literally talking to a masculine right now or you know um you are someone who embodies a lot of masculine energy to you the lovers but the lovers here is like the queen of ones can you clarify this for me spirit six of swords moving away someone's moving away from this queen of ones someone's moving away from a fire sign someone is moving away from something that they're no longer passionate about you can be literally moving away from a city here um, moving away from a job here as well with this lovers, I take it as I could take that as a literal job. It's gonna take strength to move away from whatever this is, or it did take you strength to leave this situation. Yeah, with the hermit here, it's like you were very secretive about you. Uh, you and then think of my words. You were very secretive about the way you went about this. Um, yeah, this could have caused a lot of burdens in the past, but I feel like you're slowly moving out of this energy. You're being watched very heavily at this time, or you're watching someone else very heavily in secret here. So you could be watching somebody in secret. Yeah. yeah, someone that you feel like is like kind of like you feel like an outsider compared to this person, or it's like you feel like you don't, it's like you feel like you're outside of this person's like, um life from here. It's like you want to be a part of their life, or it's like you want to be a part of their circle, but you don't feel like that. You may fit in with this person's like lifestyle with the star here. You may feel like this person gets a lot of attention. You may feel like this person, um, yeah, don't want to like um, reconcile, reconcile with you. Yeah. You be watching this person real heavy on social media, wanting to invest or wanting to like, um, it's like you're watching this person invest in like themselves or invest in something or someone else. So like you could be maybe watching this person invest in someone else and it's just like triggering you. The world card here again. Somebody's pregnant. Yeah. Um. It got all, it got all four signs out here, but like I was about to read this differently, and I heard clear in my head somebody's pregnant, and I was literally just picking up on this. I'm always picking up on the energy. I said that not always, but recently it has been very very strong. Um, Knight of Pentacles. So it's like someone's wanting to like come in with this offer. It's like maybe. Someone's gonna like find out that someone's pregnant and then they're gonna try to like come in with this. Or it's like you're gonna find out that someone's pregnant. Literally, the chariot here in the night of ones, fast communication about something, fast communication about this literal pregnancy. Oops. Y'all, I swear, I don't be just talking. I can't make this shit up. The Ten of Cups is right here. And so, and remember earlier when I was saying about speaking in threes or like um, like just multiple. It could be same-sex couple. You and this person could be a same-sex couple. So maybe like you're wanting to adopt children. Someone could be, um, someone could already have children. Someone could have a son and a daughter. Or it's like you're about to give birth to... Red, like, um, like the hair color of these children could be significant because I can't help but to notice how the hair is like red hair and also hers is like more curly. And these also look like two different like skin tone children. So, like, um, you could have like a biracial 
type of family. Like you could have a mix or blended family. Um, this could be a mix or blended family. Yeah. Spirit is saying stay quiet about this. Don't tell too many people about this. With the two of cups here, yeah, people are not going to be excited about this. People are not going to be as happy as you would think that they would be. Yeah, it's like you're going to find out that you're going to have to be very guarded whenever it comes to this news. Whatever this celebration is, whatever you assume here be celebrating, because it has literally the three of pentacles at the bottom. It's like, literally, I take this as like coming together, joining I don't know why I'm taking that card that way. Spirit said, get out of your head. Someone's in their head about something. Don't do that. Um, I can't help but to notice how on the earlier I was speaking about damage um by her and how she was like, be careful what you take for granted. And it says on here, tell me lies, make me, making me cry. Telling me lies, making me cry. So there could be an empress here crying. Girl, I don't know who the fuck. Somebody's pregnant, literally. And, like, you could be crying. Like, it could be making you very emotional. Yeah, this could be making you very emotional. Or, like, this is why you've been so emotional lately. Yeah, that's why you've been, like, sending in this energy. You could be very frustrated and agitated. Somebody don't even know that they're pregnant. Yeah, you're going to find out here. About Christmas, maybe. Because the, the way that the ornament is here. So maybe like around Christmas, you're going to find this out. You're going to find out a lot of shit, honestly. Um, I feel like love's coming in for you. Someone might be receiving flowers. Or you may be receiving your flowers as in like people just showing you your recognition and different things like that. You're going to be, there's going to be a snake-ass friend revealed. Actually, I'm going to pull on this shit because I dad did. I was picking up on like a friend of me type energy when it comes to like, like I was picking up on masculine energy very he heavily. Like two masculines, like fighting, two men fighting. Um, someone that you looked at as like a brother here is what I'm hearing. And as I'm gonna go in with this deck because this is my spicy deck. I like this. This is my hidden terror, if I'm not mistaken. Or it's the secrets of woods or something like that, y'all. Yeah. Someone needs to trust their intuition. As I picked up those cards and I did not even really try to reach for those cards, the high priestess came out in reverse. So it's like um, someone is like in their head about something. Or it's like you're you're in your head about each. Literally, you're in your head. But is this person literally, and this could be used like looked at as a like I'm taking this as someone who has like a lot of it's like thoughts are like literally clouding your mind and your judgment at this time. Spirit, I want to clarify on the Eight of Cups again. What the fuck did I say, y'all? And then it fell on the floor, and I'm not going to get it. Should I? Mm, I'm not gonna get it. <laughs> but the um, it fell on the floor, so it was like a little snake, like slithering through the um, through the cups or whatever. So again, there's someone in your energy that is a snake. Someone that you look at as a brother, someone that you see as a brother. This person is very envious and jealous of you. This person is very envious and jealous of like what you have, what you can get. Yeah, this person wants to see you. Like, yeah, like you are somebody who is like, like the way this fucking person, this Nick, like the person can literally look like this. I don't even know if y'all can see this car for real. But the person can literally look like this. Like, but I'm literally picking up masculine energy. So it's like this man like carries a lot of feminine energy to him, or he acts like a little bitch. Like he literally he acts like a bitch. That's literally what the fuck I'm hearing. With the six of wands, this person don't want to see you happy. Yeah, this person don't like to see. Like, you could be somebody who you get a lot of attention. You can literally get a lot of attention from women. And this person is like, maybe like when you and this person go out, 
you eyes are more on you than it is them. And so I feel like this like um has caused like a streak of jealousy within this person person. The Knight of Cups, I could be talking to a water sign here. And this can be about an earth sign. So it's like this person could be an earth sign and you're a water sign here. Or vice versa, take it how it resonates. Or there could be an air, there's air energy out here as well. Again, this person feels like you're very lucky, or it's like it's something dealing with like a feminine energy. Like there's a masculine jealous about a feminine energy. This masculine could even want this feminine. Yeah, page of cups. Literally, this this man. He's like this man. He likes this. So we're gonna finish this. I don't really know where I left off at. To be real. Um, I'm getting hot. So, you could be getting, like, hot flashes at this time. But, again, it was something significant about this person, like, um, feeling someone that you are currently talking to. Or you could be telling this person about someone. And I feel like this person um, secretly may um, have interest in this person as well. Yeah, this is, um, whatever this is, this person is not loyal. This person, this is not a loyal-like friendship here. Spirit is saying, you, it took you a minute. This is the truth that I'm speaking here. This person is not a friend to you. This person may portray themselves as a friend, but they're not. Um, I keep hearing vulture in my head, even though this may not be a vulture. Um, I keep hearing it in my head. I know they're vultureless. Like, they eat, like, dead corpse and stuff, or they just eat the... You feel me? So, it's like this person is, like... This is the type of person that, like, they're very, like, greedy and, like, money-hungry, I'm hearing. This person... Like, you can have, be in a business partnership with this person in some type of business deal with this person this person is manifesting like wishing on your downfall at this time this person is wishing on your downfall you see all that black gunk gunk there that is them like this is the mental state for me like because air signifies swords swords to me signifies like the mental state right so it's like this person is mentally entrapping you have you in a mental entrapment at this time yeah this person sees you as a robbery as well, the way that the horses were facing towards each other. Like, um, I know that horses could be quite competitive at times. Again, there's that energy coming right back out, the Eight of Cups. This person, this is somebody in your circle. This is somebody you view as a friend, a brother, or a family member. But this is heavy on masculine energy, and I am picking up that I am currently speaking to a masculine as well, even though I do not have to be. Not a pinnacle to your spirit. Give me accurate and clear messages, please. So you can expect um, to receive the truth about this situation. This person, again, is like, um, might have even backstabbed you. May have even, like, slept with, a, with someone that you... This person could have slept with someone that you used to talk to or someone that you currently talk to. Again, because I was picking up on a competitive energy dealing with the female. So, like, this person can try to, like, and a t that's just the truth. Where is their card? This person is watching at this time. This person is very, like, um, it's like this person wants what you have. Like, they wish that they can have what you have type shit. It's honestly kind of weird. Oh, this is creepy. You see the eyes on the fucking, um. I don't even know what those things are. It's like two people here. So maybe it's like two homeboys. I heard homeboys clear as day. It's two homeboys. Maybe this person is associated with someone else. Maybe these people can, they can be brothers. These two people can be blood brothers and you are just like the friend in a group. Yeah. You could be a different complexion from these people. You could be lighter than them. And financial wise as well. Um, you could be more financially mature than what these men are. Yeah, um 
conflict. These, this person is trying to like come in with conflict or maybe trying to stop you because the way that this is a whole different deck, but the way that this card tried to flip over and it has the chariot in reverse here and the eight of wands in reverse here, it's like this person trying to stop you from coming in towards someone or it's like maybe they did do this. This person, um, like you got in your head about this because the way that I take this eight of pentacles, I literally take this as like someone. I take this as like a literal person, like off to themselves, like mind their business type shit. And this could be even who this person is. Um, like, yeah, this person may be secretly watching this person as well. Or it's like if they're not watching this person, they're watching how you interact with this person. And I feel that because of this, it's making them... Like, pay closer attention to this woman for some reason. Like, this this person could have met this woman. This person could have seen this woman. <laughs> the way that the justice card came out to it as a yes, and the thing, um, the notification that came out to want to share something. So it's like someone's wanting to share something with you. Or this guy could be wanting to share women, females. He want to share women. What the fuck? Or, like, this is something that you guys are used to doing. Like, you and this person, like, like y'all do this, maybe. But I feel like it's a particular person that's yeah. off limits yeah. for you. It's a particular person that's off limits for you, but... Fear ones, yeah. I feel like this person has, whoever this feminine is, she has the ability to, like... Or you feel that she has the ability to, like, break your heart here. With the... With the Spiders are significant here. Obsession. I keep looking at this card over here. So someone's like, you're obsessed with, like, maybe this person is watching how you are obsessing over this person. I want you, not her. Just a fuck side piece. So maybe, like, you try to portray to this person that this person is just a fuck, right? But that's not really how you feel about this person. I feel like, but because that you're trying to portray it, like, that's a, that this person is just a fuck, I feel like that is making this person, it's like you need to be bragging on how good this feminine like private part is. And it's like, it's creating like your, it's, it's creating your homeboys to create an obsession with this woman as well. It's like you have an obsession with this woman and it's like they're creating it. It's like they have slowly created this obsession with her, her as well. So I don't know if maybe some of you guys could have had like your homeboy's watching somebody for you, you could have had him watching a feminine for you. And it's like this person have grown to like like grow feelings for this feminine energy here. Yeah, with the yeah, with the way that she's like naked here, is like I take this as um someone who has easily this woman easily has the ability to like kind of pull people in because the, the moon like draws in like the moon is known to like pull and like you feel me and so especially when it comes to like the emotional state um so it's like this woman has the ability to like captivate men i'm hearing easily at that so the star and the moon you could have met this person at nighttime something about nighttime can be significant here The eight of swords, like you don't see this. You're not. You keep yourself blind to whatever this is. Um, this could be about a fem like what I was about to say it again. This could be with the sun card out here. This could be about like a um a literal Leo or a fire sign here. I'm here, but whoever this woman is, like she's just sitting on to herself, pretty like on her high horse. I'm here, literally on a high horse. Like so, you could feel like this person is on a high horse. Again, like again, I was picking up. You were like portraying to this person that. You don't really care about whoever this divine feminine is, but it's like if you don't want your homeboys to try to snatch that up, if you don't want your homeboys looking at whoever this is, I advise you to cut it out because that's exactly what they're doing. And they know you. I feel like you're someone, you've been around these masculines for a minute now, so they know who you, like they know how you are, they know how you act. They know how you act when it comes to like, you know, somebody that you actually do genuinely have feelings for or, like, care for. So it's, like, they know that you're kind of acting out of character when it comes to this divine feminine here. And it's, like, it's, like, yeah, they, they know that you're acting out of character. But I'm hearing somebody say, I'm trying to hear that be like. I'm trying to hear that be like. You know what I mean? So it's, like, this person could be trying to see, but, like, 
What are you talking about? You feel what I'm saying? You over here bragging about whatever you bragging about to, the, to these men, to these group of men. And it's like they want to taste for themselves. They want to come in and like, yeah. So just be mindful of that. Like, be mindful of who you're telling your personal business to. Trust your intuition on this. Yeah. I think I'm going to end it off right there, though. I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day today. My bookings are open for anyone wanting to book a reading with me. Um, my social, social medias, I have a Instagram account and a Facebook account. My Instagram um, is going to be in the link in the bio. It's not a link, though. I might do a link. But, yeah. Catch me outside. How about that? Oh, you a shooter, you ain't do shit, you ain't busted yet Back you armed and dangerous, cut your arm, I'm reaching for my neck Niggas pussy, and these hollow tits gon' do way more than piss <laughs> Run off in your house and that bitch to a smoking session Might kick shit in Miami, like on Leon on Miss Bitch on Stroud, the dirty sauce on tight, I can't understand it I can't sell my soul for shit, that's why I feel like fuck a grammy Girl got bells and bowls and shit, on the big place, you won't even sell a grammy At the club, bitch got too comfortable, I told that bitch on hand Tell no, my name ain't need to quit the crowd while out with that cannon, bah, niggas really embarrassed. Hop out, this nigga legally damaged.